the ruined hall. The house in the Romantic era. And the river passes endlessly, perpetually current, while the house divides again, currents in a stream of change. Shops appear in Fybridge Street, a quality street for the settled Regency gentry. The house slips from record, but not from time's flow, remembering by day its humble roots divided as now, before its Edmund glory days, at night dreaming those. Strange that such an encyclopedic age should leave the house unreckoned on its page. Yet hark, a lace-cuffed bard with limpid eye is haunted by a spirit thrilling by. She walks in beauty like the night in ages past when full moon shone upon the helmet of the questing knight as if it were his lady pale and wan. She haunts the former greatness of the hall, the heavenly flights of a higher age. Her skin is white as death. Her spectral figure rises from the poet's page. She seeks that ancient hall and sings an elegy for days before a floor, plucked window's eye and clipped the wings of church-like spaces walked before. She plays a dulcimer, and on her lips the milk of paradise is glowing still, and rosy red the wine, or blood, she sips with eager thirst, beyond a mortal's fill. Her cup is charged again, again, and ever. Her road to wisdom's palace is excess. Her rose lips wailing for her demon lover, and dark eyes staring in her naked breasts. A restless spirit, wild, unbounded, free, a walking beauty past all human measure. She falls upon my thorns of life, I bleed, my gates of Eden open at her A pounding at the door, the vision flies. The vicar calls on business, and the poem dies. <laughs>